Good morning and welcome to the Marine Mammal Stranding Center Facebook Live. My name is Michelle and I'm joining you from the ICU here at the Marine Mammal Stranding Center to give you guys your weekly patient update on our harbor seal that's stranded on Christmas Day who had survived injuries from a shark bite. So we're popping in to just give you a little bit of an update on how his week has been going so far. Um, as you can see, he's still resting comfortably in the ICU. Um, it's a little after breakfast time, so he's taking that mid-morning nap in the sun. As you can see, he's got a very nice skylight letting in all the sunshine today after the cloudy, gloomy weather. Uh, so he's been doing really well. Um, he's eating well, and uh, now he's getting two and a half pounds of fish at each feed. So about seven and a half pounds of fish daily. He's eating a variety of fish now. He's eating herring, capelin, and mackerel. And as I said, he, he's a very good eater. He has a very nice appetite. His wound will kind of quietly go by here. As you can see, his wound is really starting to get smaller. It's been healing under treatment, which is great news. Um, it's incredible to see um, that it's not quite as wide open. If you guys have been watching our uh, Facebook updates, especially from the beginning, um, the first thing you'll notice is just that wound isn't quite as wide open anymore. He's got some nice healthy tissue filling it in, so um, we're really happy with how that large wound's doing on his side. Um, and the wounds on his belly and on the other side of the slippers are doing very well as well. So we're really just happy with his progress. So um, the next stage of his rehabilitation, he's still going to be in the ICU um, under treatment for at least the next two weeks. And then when our veterinarian on uh, one of his rounds, uh, he will be taking another set of blood work. We always do that um, as we progress in our treatment just to make sure that everything under the hood looks okay, um, that we're not suffering from any infections or any other diseases or anything else underlying. So he'll get his second set, his repeat blood, uh, probably in about two weeks as well. If all goes well with all of that, um, then we will eventually move him into our large pool. We have a large uh, 31 foot long pool, and that's gonna be the next step is re of his rehabilitation. So that's gonna be the physical therapy aspect of rehabilitation. That's where he'll get um, a lot more opportunity to swim and dive and start uh, building up those swimming muscles again. So when they're here in the ICU, they have a pool that's filled throughout the day. Um, but this also gives us the opportunity when they're under treatment like this guy, um, you obviously have to have them in a smaller area so that the technicians uh, can get a hold of him, the veterinarian can look at him and examine them. Um, so, and then certain treatments, uh, sometimes they have to stay dry for a period of time. So that's why in the ICU, it's sort of like a human ICU. When you're in the hospital in the human ICU, you're not gonna be doing a lot of uh, running around. They're gonna keep you in your hospital bed and they you know, let you uh, walk up and down the hallway when you're feeling better. Um, so that's exactly how it is for the seals as well. So um, this is the area where he's just gonna get a lot of rest and build up his body back. And then once we go to the pool, that's where he's gonna get a lot of exercise and hopefully prepare him for his eventual return to the wild. So we've had a lot of questions from people about do we name the seals? And we actually prefer not to name the seals here at the Marine Mammal Stranding Center. Um, it's because we want people to always think of these guys as wild animals uh, and respect them for being wild animals. So here uh, they don't receive names. And, and that way, if you see a, a seal in the wild again, next year, you know, you see a harbor seal, you might think, wow, that could be the animal that I watched get rehabilitated and, and, and released. So we always wanna remember that they're wild animals. And as you can see, we don't spend a lot of time in here when we do our updates too, because he looks, looks at me and checks me out. Um, and that's not necessarily because he's interested in my presence, it's because he's watching and making sure uh, that I'm not gonna try anything funny. Because to them, you know, we're just two-legged aliens. They don't know who we are. So, you know, that's why we don't spend a lot of time in here with them, so. And that, again, goes back to not naming them. So, but anyway, so we just wanted to pop in and give you guys an update on how he's doing. We're gonna let him get back to his nap. 
We also want to remind you guys that the um, Sea Life Museum um, is opening back up after our brief holiday break. So we will be open again during the winter on Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So this Saturday is our first day of our holiday or our post holiday hours. So definitely stop by. And we also want to remind you guys we're still running our membership special as two. Um, so anybody that joins as a member during the month of January uh, will be invited to our open house event that's going to take place after our hospital is empty, uh, that, which is usually towards the summer months. So late summer, early fall, we're going to invite all our members to come and tour these very areas that you guys see on your weekly update. So again, thank you all for joining us. Thank you all for cheering this guy on. And we will pop back in next week with another live patient update. We hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy the sun. Take care. Bye-bye.